Good morning, my dear students. Today we are going to discuss about one of the types of laser that is dye laser. What is the need to discuss this laser in the science? This laser is very cheap and it can be easily prepared. For example, in the film shows, you might have seen different colors. So, we can, they are using this kind of laser, dye laser. What is the principle of laser? We know that the principle is Population inversion. The principle of any laser is population inversion, and uh, there are three major components required for any laser. The three major components one is active medium, the second one is pumping source, the third one is a resonant house. The active medium for the dye laser is organic dye. That is organic material. It is a liquid material. How we can prepare the active medium means we have to take a organic material or organic substance. For example, rhodamine still been or coumarin which is dissolved in a suitable liquid or in a solvent here we can use the rhodamine that is organic substance dissolved mainly in water that is rhodamine to be dissolved in water, either water or benzene. Or toluene. Or ethanol. Or methanol. So, the active medium is an organic material dissolved in an organic solvent water and zintrolamine. This is the way you can prepare the active medium. The second one is the pumping source. You know many types of pumping source that is optical pumping, electrical discharge pumping, inelastic atomic atomic collision, chemical reactions like that. Here we are going to use the optical pumping. Optical pumping means photon excitation. We have to use monochromatic source here we can use the one type or another type of laser that we can call the excimer laser. Here excimer laser can be used as a pumping source. And the resonators, resonators is nothing but mirrors. Mirrors means it should be the full reflectors. So, what is a dye laser means? It is nothing but an organic dye laser or liquid laser. The principle of this laser is population inversion. And the three major components are active medium, pumping source, resonators. These are the things we discuss. Next, we are going to see that how it can produce the laser light.
in this case it is nothing but first absorption then emission here in dilaser you can see this one in this way the x axis is the lambda it is in meter wavelength in meter y axis is the intensity how absorption absorption you can see by this way this is absorption this one is absorption and the emission means this is emission here absorption takes place by photons and the emissions also by stimulated emission we can call yes, this stimulated emission here two types of emission that we can call one is called fluorescence or phosphorescence so absorption by absorption of photons emission by two ways that is luminescence the luminescence is emission of light flashes there are two types of luminescence one is called fluorescence another one is called phosphorescence what is meant by fluorescence means that is a whenever light falls on a material then and there it emits light that is called fluorescence what is phosphorescence means it is a time delayed fluorescence this one means time delay is zero a phosphorescence means time delay will be there when light falls on this is all going to die when light falls on a die immediately it will produce photons that is called fluorescence in another case when light falls on a die after few seconds it may be after nanoseconds or milliseconds or sometimes minutes then it emits light that is called phosphorescence in die laser anyone can occur it depends upon the material which die we are using now we are going to see the energy level diagram for the die laser Here, either absorption or emission takes place within the vibrational and the rotational levels of the molecules. You can see. This is a singlet, ground state singlet. That is. Net spin is zero. This is a ground state single state. Then this is a first excited state of single state. Yes, one. This is ground state single state. Then this is a second excited state of the singlet state due to absorption electron will shift from 
clear to here. This is called a photon excitation or optical pumping. Electrons are shifted from from ground state to external state. This process is called absorption. Then afterwards, these electrons in the external state it comes to the first external state of the lowermost level. This is called fast decay or non-radiative decay. Then afterwards, comes down here by releasing the energy. Actually, this is called process. And it's having definite frequency, definite data. So, S0 is the singlet ground state, S1 is the first singlet state, and S2 is the second excited singlet state. There will be probability also, electron will shift from once again here to here. There will be probability. This also absorption will take place. Anyhow, this is one other process. Another process is triplet states. This P1, P2, this is called triplet states. Here, how it takes place in first absorption, then from here to here, that is a fast decay or Non radiative transition. And the next, once again, from, from this point to this point, that is P12 S0. That is a triplet state to singular state. It emits the energy in the form of photons. This also H nu. Or H nu 1, this is called fast process. So, first absorption, then fast decay, then emission. From here to here, what will happen once again? There is a spontaneous emission. So, that it is a four level laser. Dye laser is a four level laser. And you will see the output of the dye laser means it is a pulse down. Pulsed output. Pulsed means it is not a continuous wave. Not continuous wave. It is a pulsed one. And the, what is the pulse duration? 10 to the power of minus 12 seconds or it is a picoseconds. The pulse duration is picoseconds. Afterwards, what is the wave number? It is in the range of 3000 to 13,000 and some minutes. That is the range is 3,000 to 7,000. There is a visible region. Afterwards, it can go to ultraviolet also in this way. So that whichever light we want, we can tune in. Therefore, this laser we can call the tunable laser. How we can tune that one means by using prism or grating. This way you can tune the laser and whatever the color we want, 3000 to 7000, that is violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, and white, that way we can get the output. So we have discussed about the dye laser today. Thank you very much.